get right to it. Hour number three on this Monday night. Uh, Dana Durnford is standing by up in British Columbia and back from a sabbatical. He's been working very hard. Yoichi Shimatsu. Yoshi, are you there? Yes, I am. I'm in Southern California after, uh, as you said, a very hard period of video editing and book editing. You've been working uh, hard. Thanks for the articles. I don't know how you got those out, but you did. Uh, it was pretty hard, yeah. I mean, a lot, not much sleep, uh, a lot oh. of world problems, a lot of intrigue, and yeah. you know, as President Obama is flying over to Germany. To oh, he's terrible. going to spend time with the royals this week, too, in England, so yeah, yeah. And, more and hard work. On, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, this whole uh, Panama Papers attack on Cameron, now he's got to patch it up, now that Cameron survived, and now All through. <laughs> It's a, it's, it's amazing. He, he wipe them out. You know, it's just amazing how, you know, this kind of mayhem that's created at a time that, you know, we got uh, airport bombings and so on, and all connected together, of course. You know, the old false flag, the old oh, yeah. support of terrorism, the state support of terrorism. Yep. It all goes back, and uh, there's no real urgency to stop this stuff in the world's economic process, the world economy begins to implode, you know, as, as everyone warns about. It's yeah. a yeah. crazy, yeah. crazy time. And now we have this huge disaster in uh, Kyushu in Japan. Yeah, yeah. let me uh, let me bring uh, Dana on here and see if he's there. Are you there, Dana? I am. Welcome back, Yoshi. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you very much. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah. Yeah, we got uh, a lot of earthquakes. If you look at the top of uh, rents, you'll see there are a couple of uh, graphics I have up there. One shows the ring of fire, and it shows the mm-hmm. recent earthquakes. Uh, mm-hmm. six, 6.4 uh, looks like Kamchatka up there somewhere, mm-hmm. seven, 7.0 or wh- whatever it really was in Japan. Uh, mm-hmm. 6.9 uh, times 3, there were three quakes in the South Pacific. Jump over to mm-hmm. uh, Ecuador, you know about the 7.8 quake sure. there. The only spot in the ring of fire where there's no activity so far is along the west coast. And it, it mm-hmm. a lot of people are saying it, it's got to move. It's got to move. The fault has to slip somewhere. All right. Tell us about uh, Japan. Is that whole uh, island uh, fractured? Well, the, the, what, what broke is not a local fault. This is the main, it's basically the San Andreas Fault of Japan, called ah. the Media Tectonic Line. Mm-hmm. It's a huge, it, it's a huge slip fault that goes from Kyushu all the way to right south of Fukushima. And what uh, the really strange thing is that the uh, the shocks in Fukushima from that quake are larger than, let's say, right next door to some of these towns in Kyushu. You know, it's it's very, very inconsistent four on the Richter scale. So it ran it ran up the fault line and rattled the end of it, right? right it ends at Fukushima. Yeah, well, it goes into the ocean right south of Fukushima. Uh-huh. But Fukushima, it seems to be more rattled by this. Because uh, huh. uh, uh, it, it goes under sea, so it's mm-hmm. not really well studied or known. And, this, and, and also Taiwan got uh, massively shook up also with a 4.7. So this seems to be a major part of this ring of fire, okay, that, that has been moving, that is apparently rotating and turning, or and also possibly uh, wobbling. It's possibly like something like a diving board, you know, something like a diving yes. board. Yes, it, yeah. um, just like this. Uh, despite the what we're hearing, GS and Caltech, uh, who are saying, well, Ecuador, the quake in Ecuador and the one in Japan are completely unrelated. It's just a coincidence. Oh, really? You, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So we're getting this message from, again, this scientific priesthood yeah. that's been countering everything that we know for ourselves from, yeah, you know, and, and, and so that, that uh, earthquake map that you just put out of the Ring of Fire is very, very important. These are related. And, um, because they have been related to that Fukushima event in 2011 because, as you mm-hmm. know, that earthquake uh, uh, actually made the made you know, it pushed the Japanese coast eight meters inward. Yeah, the Earth basically burrow was sort of tightened. Okay, which means, uh, and there was no release on any other point, which means that the Earth wobble. I don't know if you know that the core of the Earth, the Earth core. Uh-huh. You know, it rotates, but it wobbles. Sometimes bangs up against the surface. Okay, huh. uh-huh. we have a tighter surface right now. So uh, the only thing probably that could have caught 
Oh, bring the fire. Nope, we lost him. Can you hear me? Hello? Okay, Hello? we lost you when you said the Earth's ring of fire, and okay. then you dropped okay. out. Okay, okay, call me back. All right. All right, I think maybe he's going to uh, call in. All right, Dana. Uh, this... Hey, look, uh, the Japanese is a 7 out of 7 scale, so it's 6.2 in Japanese is an 8.8. 8. Uh, 6.4 is a 9.1. In the Richter scale. Okay, and they so, didn't translate yeah. it then, so they left it on the Japanese scale. They did so, yeah. And, oh. Uh, and CNN and MSNBC and all them were, were calling it the Richter scale. They so lied. You worry? Or they're seven. stupid. Uh. But it wasn't, right? It was a Japanese scale of one to seven. Got it. Wow. Yoshi, back in. Not yet. He's going to call in, I think. Awesome to hear Yoshi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's so, been a while. Yeah, so he good, really yeah. has been working hard, and I don't know how. He, he sent me two, three articles, and uh, it was great. All right, now, what we're looking at here is this map, and a lot of people say, wow. All right, it is all related. There's no question about it. It's connected. It's connect the dots. It's the ring of fire. Uh, if Japan moved eight meters and there was no real relief on any other major faults, that's, that's, en that's an enormous amount of, of pressure and a shift. That's huge. Mm -hmm. Yoshi, are you back? Yeah, I'm back. And okay. the other two events, you know, remember that tsunami in 2004, the Asian great uh, Asian yeah, uh, yeah. tsunami? Yeah. There was an explo underwater explosion in what looked like a gas dome pretty far down, sent shockwaves down to the core. And then the Fukushima, uh, not only we had the quake, but we had that blast at Reactor 3 on March uh, 15th. Right, okay? right. It sent sonic, sonic shockwaves. Now, and these uh, express a special effect on the Earth's core. So the Earth's core is happening in these, you know, I don't know if you know, the North Pole is not where it used to be. It's moved away, okay? Yeah, I read that somewhere. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, so exactly. the, the MOX reactor, when it blew, it did have enough, I, I guess it was kind of a vertical... Yeah, well, most of that reactor is underground. You know, most of that reactor it would have is to be. So it went it's down. It's underground. Right. It's surrounded by that mushy, what you call, what did you call it, oatmeal? It's like gravel and yeah. water. That's so right. So perfect like a speaker, you know, uh -huh, uh -huh. something that shock waves down to the Earth's core, huh. further knocking. And basically it's like, you know, when you're a kid, you played with a, a top, a spinning top. Sure. No, when it's perfectly aligned, right, with the gyroscopic... It have to be, yeah. It, it can go, it seems to go forever. But once it starts to wobble, if you knock it or something, you bump it or something, uh -huh. there it goes, there it goes, there it goes crazy and finally fall over. Well, it throws energy um, in all different directions, too. It, it completely, yeah, it's 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 everything force, skewed. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a centrifugal force. you got centripetal force. It's all dispersed. And that looks like what's happening right now with the Earth's core, which is wow. why the major scientific institutes are in, once again, total denial of what's going on. Now, let me and ask you a question. Event, you know, okay. Right. okay. Uh, Dana just mentioned, and I want to get confirmation from you on this, mm -hmm. that the Japanese earthquake intensity was a, a factor of using the Japanese 7.0 maximum scale. Is that correct? Right. That yeah, the Japanese scale is based on damage potential, okay, the amount of damage done. So this was a very, very violent quake. Uh, yeah. And a Richter would have been, uh, Dana suggests, around 8.6. Probably. The problem is we don't, we're not getting really clear readings out of Japan, and this is very alarming. Once again, every time we, just like Fukushima, uh -huh. you know, there was some uncertainty there about the actual scale of the, uh, of the, you know, of the seismic Got event. It. So yeah. we have that same thing. What's strange is the first quake was supposedly Richter 6 point something. The second one was in the 7 area. So by <laughs> a more powerful quake, mm -hmm. Hmm. a lesser quake, okay, you know, a less powerful quake. So very, very odd circumstances. Right. And this is typical of what we call one of these strike slip plates, okay? Like if that, you know, a San Andreas Fault, for example. Uh -huh. The other thing about there's been hundreds 
of quakes there, and they're moving in a northwesterly I've direction. I've tracked I've got a, another piece of uh, graphic that shows them tracking up toward uh, Fukushima, or it did. I don't know where it went. Right, right, right. There was this motion along this whole tectonic line, mm-hmm. and uh, it's heading toward a major nuclear reactor on the island of Shikoku called Ikata. This is the fifth reactor that was approved by the Nuclear Regulatory Agency of Japan. They approved it in May. Now, what's very odd is that in December, in San Francisco at Moscone Center, there was a meeting of the American Geo- uh, Geophysical Union, and there are Japanese researchers from that area, including mm-hmm. one from the Shikoku Electric Power Company, put out a paper analyzing the 1596 earthquake along that same uh, tectonic, the the, the uh, you know the medium tectonic line, mm-hmm. and they described how it started right near where this um, this reactor is today, right near there, and it moved toward the northeast. Up to Kyushu. Okay, we lost you again. Uh, no. Moved toward the northeast, you said, and then we lost you. Couple. Of, okay. All right. Terrible. All right, we lost you again. Hold on. We'll get him. Now, he's gone. Okay. Now, uh, Mr. D, the, uh, I just saw a story on the Internet. There's a little video thing. How to buy fish in the market. And the answer to that is real simple. Don't. Jeez. <laughs> Trying to run, man, when you see that sign. That's true. That's amazing. So, I was all right, about the week, and I seen twelve birds all together. <laughs> twelve? No, you can't, no yeah, fish. Not you, jump. Not moving. Twelve. There was one species on the shoreline. Shocked well, you it. still had some fingers and toes left to use up, I guess. Then <laughs> there's nothing wow. left on the shoreline. Wow. Shocking. One species wow. able to kill weed. Yoshibak? Not yet. That's right. One species. Man, I'm still angry. I'm still. I like. I got so angry over that. It's shocking. It's all can't. last night and all this morning and all yeah. day I crashed twice today. Just woke up the second time. Still angry about it. <laughs> it's like there's nothing left out there now. It's, and nobody, man. nobody but That's Dana it. Dernford is talking about this. Yeah. That's it. If we didn't hey. have this program and Dana oh, and Yoshi, right. yeah. that would, there would be nothing. Nobody else and, is talking about it. And there's no snow in the mountains. Like, not even, there's no ice there. But, I mean, we we're expecting snow. It went a little tiny bit of snow. There was nothing there. So this is going to be a brutal summer on trout and fish because the rivers and estuaries are going to overheat. And the uh-huh. coastline got no cold water coming. Yeah, no, it's, this could be really bad this year, I think. Storms. Well, this, this is actually set up to be the worst year yet, and you think about it. Yeah. And, it and honest year. to God, if, if, uh, I cannot understand how the media, even as bad as it is, cannot cover the story. No birds, no bugs, no nothing. How can they not do it? Yeah, not even no ice in in the mountains. You think the that's the biggest story in modern British Columbia history, right? It's the biggest story. It is. I mean, this is the one they've been warning us about, and and a country like Canada. With all of its ice missing through its Rocky Mountains, no one's sleep. No, it's okay, man. Don't worry about it. We're asleep. Uh, to me, I can't. To me, I'm frightened to death. To me, I know the implications. And to me, I'm out there on the front line looking. And it's just what, you know? I stopped at the forest edges, I don't know how many times in the last couple of days, and not a sound, man. Not a bird, not a finch, not a sparrow, no nothing. It's it's the spookiest thing you can imagine. You know that is so sickening to hear, and and it it's not a surprise to me. But it, for for those of us who care, like Dana and and many of you listening, I'm sure would feel the same way. It's it's really got to be heartbreaking. You go up there and you listen and you look, and there's nothing there. Nothing. The silence is so overwhelming that I'm I'm angry, and that's the only thing I can replace it with. I don't know how to switch yeah, off. Yet, I understand. You know? Well, you can't. You can't switch off. I'm still the same way. So what? Like, I don't even know if I can do anything tomorrow or the next day. I'm dysfunctional because of it. And who do you take out there to really, you know? That's the whole point in it. What are we? What are we doing to ourselves? And at what point are we going to make that stand? And we can make a stand if we want to. But at what point? 
Will we do that? It's going to, when we do, it's going to be just chaos. It's the problem. I'm hoping for a little noise instead, whatever that means and whatever that might accomplish. I don't very much, but we, still we, something. We were, uh, you back, Yoshi? Yeah, yeah. I, I hear okay. Dana, and it's a yeah. terrible situation, especially I mean, considering. I mean, imagine. Dumping, yeah. Yeah. They're going to be dumping a lot more than that. It's about really unloosing the uh, you know, uh, this highly, which is, you know, basically, this is the stuff that all the sea animals are going to be drinking. It's going to turn to rainwater, you know, mm-hmm. and it's going to evaporate. So it's like, you know, because no one, you know, I mean, because the, the media is not there, because the environmental groups are not there, they feel it's okay to dump more. I, I, I you know, silence is, does not buy, you know, it buys sponsorship maybe, but there's going to be nothing left for the environmental groups to defend when it's over. And they'll be exposed for what they are, a bunch of fraud, a bunch of fronts for the nuclear industry. Mm-hmm. So what Dana is saying, I think, you know, we've got to bring that message home to all the environmental groups, environmental media, that you either get a board now or, you know, just be written off as nuclear. Thank you, Yoshi. Yeah, well said. Co- yeah, TEPCO is announcing they're going to increase the amount of the tritium being dumped. In. And you know, it's not just tritium, it's everything else in those tanks. Yeah, how, do, how can they say that? Oh, we're, we're going to be dumping tritium, not, not, yeah. not to mention the hundreds, potentially, of other radionuclides exactly. that's in the mix. They never say anything. And no it's real a- boasting about their filtration systems anymore. They've just gone silent about that. So, you know, we assume a lot of dirty water is going to be dumped in the Pacific because no one is squawking. There's not a single governor, mayor, standing up and talking. There's not a single major press. So, you know, you get what you ask for or what you right. don't go. No, and they're inviting more. And I think up and down the West Coast, you know, we've got to start confronting these guys and say, you know, what's coming is your responsibility. It's not, you know, you've given t- a Tokyo Electric the green light, okay? They probably won't do it if you protest it, but they're going to do it because you're doing nothing there. You're, doing, we, you're pretending. Yeah, we right. don't, you know, uh, over here we have, you know, all the, every, every city, every town, e- even a town of 10,000 will have its own little TV station with its own little news crew. They right. won't, they won't touch this story. They They're won't right touch scared. it. And what are they scared of? Are you more scared of, you know, uh, oh, uh, President Obama saying shame on you, okay? Or are you more scared of what's about to hit you and your kids and your animals, everything, okay? So people are in denial ridiculous denial. The cancers are erupting everywhere, you know, and everyone knows somebody down with serious cancer, you know, serious heart condition. You know, this isn't natural that everywhere it's bringing up all around you, 360 degrees. It's happening now. Of course, in Japan, you've seen some, I'm sure you've seen some statistics for these kids in Chiba, you know, three out of five. Uh, have the onset of some sort of thyroid cancer. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're all a big story. Level, outrageous levels. Okay? Yeah, it's outrageous totally. Levels. They got babies being born uh, over there now with uh, extra arms, extra legs. Mm-hmm. These are all genetic uh, disasters caused by the radioactivity. High number yeah. of stillbirths being reported. Yeah. But is yeah. it in the media over there? I don't know. Uh, we got no, it over no, here. Totally no, totally I'm sure totally it's not. it's not. It's no go. You just don't go there. Yeah. Every person from Japan knows struck down. You know, uh-huh. got severe. You know, one of my relatives talked to me about a man who was a big, strapping, tall fellow. Now he's down to 30 uh, kilograms. He's about, you know, uh, 66 pounds now, okay? Uh, so, he's gone. <laughs> okay, yeah. In other words, everyone knows these cases, and they don't want to attribute it to, to what the cause is. Isn't that yeah, amazing? Yeah. Five years, Yoshi, the yeah. denial. Yeah. Five years. Yeah. It is reporting in Vancouver can't be denied. This is an extinction of it. Everything dies. Okay, everything dies. And when everything dies, there's nothing left. You know, there's not going to be anything for people to eat. Everything's going to be... You know, if we could just, Dana, if we could just get people to talk about the food chain having been broken and understand that, it would be a step in that direction. Nobody will talk about that. Nobody's talking about any of it. I suggest Dana and I and you, we all do a campaign first on the environmental groups to just jack them up and tell them, you know, you're part of the problem, not the solution. 
you're not really a genuine environmental group. You're bogus. You're agents of the nuclear industry. And they'll tell and us to take a hike because uh, George that, Soros will cut off their stuff. money. <laughs> yeah, exactly, George Soros. Yeah. yeah, right. The hedge funds are all there in the nuclear industry. Of course they are. Uranium industry. Anyway, Japan, this thing has a possibility. If it follows the eight, uh, the 1596 model, it will cross the Japan. Run that by us again. What, what's going to cross Japan? We lost you there. It's a quake. It is moving. The quakes, okay. The, the flip, it has this, a, yeah. It has the potential to cross over uh, under the sea, the inland sea, to the island of Chicago, knock out a nuclear power plant that the has been given the research for, and the, that reactor three at Kata in the Ahima province, Ikata, uh -huh. is loaded with mock fuel. Okay. Great. Loaded Just what we need. Just what we need. Yeah, and this this thing is on the line. Uh, of these quakes, and these quakes are moving out, and it takes time. I mean, they, you know, they jump out there. They just keep rumbling out, breaking out, and going right down. They call it a progression, uh, a progression of quakes. So it's a lot different than the San Andreas Fault you see in the movies. The thing takes a long time. It just sort of like goes, it's sort of like a local, sort of like, you know, just sort of, Sort of chugging ahead, stopping the station, and going to the next station, chugs ahead. No, that's so, a good analogy, yeah. yeah uh, so we, we really have a possibility of another MOX fuel meltdown at the end of this quake. And on the other side, the, the readings huh. out of Kagoshima are few, and they look to be false. They're saying it's only a, 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 a magnitude of three readings down there, and they get very sparing readings. So it looks very false down there at the other nuclear plant at Satsuma Center. It's the only ones in operation, the only one in operation right now. God, uh, we've got to take a break here. Quick question for Dana. Dana, are, what's the nuclear reactor inventory in uh, B.C.? What do you have working up there? I don't know what you mean. Do you have any reactors, any power plants no, not in B.C.? Yeah, no. I didn't not think so. No, they're in Ontario, Central Canada, at the one spot on fresh water on the one river. Uh huh. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah, Supplies great. Supplies all of Eastern Canada. Oh, how smart! And of course, uh, Ontario and uh, right across from America, uh, that big Lake Ontario, Lake Superior. These are polluted lakes, right? Already. Twenty-five reactors. Twenty-five on twenty-five. Yeah. Well, Emerson, look. In do, let me ask the rhetorical question. Does our species, and I hate to be identified with it, have a death wish? Is that what we're doing here? I mean, it seems like it to me. Hold on a minute. We'll come right back. This is uh, bad business and what we do every Monday. We try to keep you up to date as much as we can. Look at the very center top column at rents, and you'll find the latest that I can get for you about uh, Fukushima, which continues to be covered up by the American media. You just don't hear about it. It's not talked about. All right, let's go up to Dana, uh, who did already bring us some news. I want all of you this summer, when you traveled around, to look and listen See what you see, or more than that, see what you don't see in terms of birds, in terms of bugs. Look at your windshield. Look at the front of your car. Look at the grill. Look at, look at the bumper. See what you're picking up. And let, let, uh, let us know. I think, and this is something you're going to find that isn't necessarily exclusive to the, uh, the Pacific Northwest. I think you're going to find this all over the country. Tell us more, Dana. Yeah, and you'll find that, uh, like you say, way into the interior. We've seen that in uh, British Columbia, Canada. It, the crazy thing about it is that it, as it happens in increments over a short period of time, people don't mm -hmm. even notice it. But like you're saying, if they look, they'll actually get it. If they go out and talk to people involved, like even at gas stations that, that would normally clean windows, ask them how many windows did they clean of bugs? And they'll tell you none. <laughs> it's very good. Shocking. Very good point. Ask the gas station people. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I've done it. And uh, we went along the roads where uh, right through the forest, thick rainforest here on Vancouver Island. Mm -hmm. And what happened was uh, all this traffic coming through, all these motorhomes coming down 80 mile stretch of woods. And they had, I talked to them, they had no bug splats on their window, none on their brand new bumpers and, and the front of their vehicles are white. But on the side of the road where the wind whips, pushes dirt in the little corners of the roads, uh -huh, you know uh -huh. how that works? Yeah. Nothing in, there was nothing in there. That was like my wow. last, my last chances for finding a spot. I always figured when I was going, when I was mm -hmm. doing it and I couldn't even find nothing in there. And I found, I think that one, in a one day period, I found one bumblebee and one horse fly on the side of the road. And that was in about four hours of searching. They're not going to come back, uh, dear friends. They're, they're on the way right. out. Right. Just like, see, the tidal zones for people, there's another 4.2 million species in the ocean. And not all that 4.2 million is going to try to settle in the tidal zones, but it, it, you only need uh, five or 6,000 species to fill in the tidal zones. Uh -huh. And so that's what was there originally. Uh -huh. And if that's gone, how come the other five or six or 4.2 million species don't settle the coastlines? Because they're gone. And that is the most frightening. Like you were talking about earlier, broken parts of that food chain. When the whole food chain is broken, or anything's left is the, the mammals way up the food chain, yeah. which are the last ones to show the effects of radiation, or yep. the bigger animals. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So if the tidal zone was gone, everything else had to go. There's no way around that. And now the confirmation is just sickening. That was sickening. And, uh, and now I'm going to have to go again. Now I, got, I documented yesterday uh, in particular, the weather was perfect. And it was just surreal. And I just feel empty. It. I just feel like, who do I yell at? Who do I get hold of and choke? You know, uh, yeah. It's anger. I'm lashing out today. I was lashing out and done a 35 minute stream because I couldn't contain it any longer. This utter frustration, and I crashed like a rock. Went to sleep again. Woke up and just find things to do to keep my mind occupied because I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get at these people. I'm not in a who, position. Who, yeah. Who do we go after? How do we get these invisible people? To accountability, we just, I don't know. I don't you have yell, the answer. Yeah, you, want, you want to yell at somebody? See, that's the natural reaction to basically what I'm of trying course. to say. Of course, yeah. You want, you want to be able to single out and say, "See, you're a lawyer, and you can't even." And the people that I want to do that to, I can't because it's a crime. I'll get charged. <laughs> I'll get arrested. What's the status your of your of your court uh, <laughs> situation? It's a circus. Still well, in June, I got to go down again. God. But, yeah. Who knows? Right. Uh, we're like you say. I had to go to court five times and I was not familiar with it for calling a lawyer a lawyer and explaining the law and showing the law and going out on the ocean and proving the law. And then I was lied. The media came out and claimed I was uttering death threats when I was just calling out a lawyer. <laughs> I was charged with criminal harassment, but the media accused me of death threats in order to, to vilify me. So we know something that they hate what I've done so much that they're willing to go that route. And then had me arrested, dragged in the court five times. You know, all they the got to let this go. Stuff. They got to drop the charges, Dana. They yeah, just it's a game. Can't. Right? They got rid of potatoes and banana chips. Oh. And sunshine, right? right? They said I couldn't <laughs> use that as a motive and that I couldn't use the video. I can only use the sound bite. <laughs> can't use the next sentence or the sentence before. And so that doesn't make any sense. So you're not allowed to expose the lie about potato chips and a banana and a walk no. in the sunshine. Yeah. That has to stand now, old. but, oh, man. Okay. So when I get out of jail a week later, uh, less than a week later, the police come to my house and, and to see if I'm suicidal. That's after the media demonized me through the country because the same person who took the charge in the police, mm -hmm. Constable Steve Crox of the Victoria Sandage Police Department, mm -hmm. a prior police force, mm -hmm. sends the police to the house saying I was suicidal. Now, that's scary stuff. That's, her, that's harassment. They could have put you in a mental hospital. They could do anything. Right. There was many, many scenarios ways. Yeah. Or they could come yeah. in wacky and say, oh, well, he was suicidal. There's the yep. proof, right? Please yep. had to go there. But this was false. This was fabricated, whether to intimidate me or to set me up. And it backfired. Sure. I don't know. But it backfired when they arrested me because there was over 60 articles wrote Yoshi. And Yoshi wrote, still, as far as I'm concerned, one of the best ones, where he brought up the Nuremberg mm -hmm. and said how mm -hmm. scientists who fool and, and trick the population, deceive the population uh, into uh, harming themselves sure. by taking their uh, word, which was, you know, is, is cultable, is gullible, or gullible, 
is deserving of the death penalty, deserving to be hung. And but they're so they're selling stocks here in British Columbia. We don't got nuclear power plants, but where do, where we push all the stocks, where we mine a lot of the uranium is in British Columbia, mm-hmm. in the northern British Columbia stretches, and we've mm-hmm. had some major accidents. Mm-hmm. Uh, but these people, uh, Lucas London is the biggest purveyor of uranium in, in Canada. He's the wealthiest man here. He's from Sweden originally, mm-hmm. and we talked about him a little bit before. But these are the people who know what I who knows what I'm doing, who understands there's an extinction event. Like the University of Victoria knows there's an extinction event. That's what he rolled out. The guy I'm not allowed to talk about, and Woods Hole knows it's an extinction event. That's what he rolled out. The guy we're not allowed to talk about. Neither one of them are nuclear scientists. Neither one of them have any papers on uh, man-made nucleoids. They studied uh, natural nucleoids in, in the environment. Well, I'm not going to name him. I don't want to get you in trouble here either. But uh, we've talked about chemists. him many, many times. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Busler, uh, couldn't be possibly right. talking about him. Uh, okay, look, this is all a rigged. We talk about rigged elections. The whole Fukushima issue from day one, uh, Yoshi, has been rigged. Rigged, rigged, rigged. It's, fr- it's a fraud. All the coverage we're getting, if we get any good stuff at all, it's from you or Dana or a few other really still uh, honest researchers. And I, I, some of the ones in the beginning we looked to for leadership have just faded away. They're gone. Yeah, it's, it's it's a sad situation, but you know it uh, just means we just keep going harder. Yeah, that's all. And well, uh, that's one right. of the things I'm interested in Dana's case, I've heard from other people. You know, I'm not sure people that I know. They said, "Oh, Dana Durnford, how can you associate with him?" I said, "Well, what trolls are you listening to?" You know, in other words, there's been a lot of trolls on the internet. You know, that, nonstop. Uh, been, yep. Yeah, and I think. You know, on the, in Japan, we've done some work in tracking down some of these people and exposing them for what they are, working for PR companies. Uh, you know, we track their uh, careers and turn out they work for PR companies. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So uh, I hope uh, if you can uh, get your friends to uh, let uh, We lost him again. We lost him. We'll get him back. Uh, you know, it's funny. He's, we get him in Thailand, and oftentimes it's... Better than he's in the states right now. Uh, anyway. No weird, yeah. It's I weird. That too. It's all Probably. weird. I I got to think that the potential for interference is so big. Uh, you back, Yoshi? No, I think that's him dropping off. And well, there's two thousand PR firms out there, and they need a target. And so Yoshi and myself, they, and all you got to do is just seed it out and divide. And oh, there's yeah. people out there. I mean, that are saying that I never went up the coastline, that I didn't take the pictures. And there's people out there. All the time in all the comment sections saying I, I bleached the beaches. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. I kid you not. And they're, that's what they're saying to everybody. Was, I bleached the beaches and then I took the pictures. <laughs> that's quite an act. Uh, I wish I did, right? That'd be awesome. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> That'd be a neat trick. How could you do that one? I wonder. Truly amazing. How could you carry that much bleach? Because <laughs> I take 2,000 pictures on a day. So the whole area. We know all, what you, what many you did was right? astonishing. Yeah. And, uh, uh, but that's the game, is to see that doubt. And most people think this is like a banana and a potato chip and walking in the sunshine because mm-hmm. of 70 years of it. And it's just, the, the scientists, what drives me crazy is they got a degree to know the difference. Right. They, they got the education and they know the difference. They know nuclear is not carbon-free, it's not too cheap to meet, or it's not clean or green or anything no. else. And that, uh, why do we got terrorist laws? Why do we got nuclear waste sites and repositories and everything else? Why do we have... Such, uh, why do Dr. Raymond Gilmady's dogs die for 35 years? He never cured a dog a single time, but he had no problem killing them for 35 years with americium, neptunium, and plutonium. It, every single time, how, how did the guy years. sleep at night? You know, how yeah. this guy, you can't be human to do that. I, I, right. And the name of your research is Loveless. That's the name of the institute. Loveless. And it's so killed dogs it all, all day, every day. And that's just one of thousands and thousands. We got Yoshi back? I think so. Yeah, 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 I am back. Anyway, I just would like to uh, find out more about this rumor mill that's sort of tried to engulf you, you know, and uh, it's spreading nonsense around the world. We need to track these people down, you know, and get them off your back. Expose them for what they are, okay? Right, I'm not the bad let's, guy. Let's get on to that. Let's get on to that before your June hearing. You know, let, let's, let's find let's out. Let's open up off. some of these nice little packages and see what's inside. Yeah, it's a mess. 
It's dirty, dirty, yeah. dirty, 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 and it's all nuclear industry and it's all uranium mining, yeah. uh, in particular well, in PR Canada, peeling a lot of work. But, yeah, a lot of PR companies are working with the uh, industry, and they should be called out too. You know, so that is pretty out that they work for the nuclear industry, and you know anything that's green shouldn't be working with these people. No, we lose. They should be losing clients, okay, mm-hmm. for what they're doing, potential mm-hmm. clients. Mm-hmm. But you got to do something. Like we're capable of doing that. I think the word will be taken seriously. So let's get on to that. It's time Great. to get these guys off your back. I'm just tired of hearing this crap. You know, it is so, every it single is. day. Joe yeah. is vicious. It's uncalled for. Yeah, yeah. And we yeah, got to get to the Pacific Ocean. It's it's, see, it's all, it's yeah. it's okay for them to hire uh, their flunkies and trolls to yeah. libel and defame you, yeah. but you can't yeah. stand up with the truth. No, no, right. don't you yeah. dare! Yeah. I can't right, defend right, myself. Right. I can't even defend yeah. myself legally <laughs> against the ones that are actually behind it. We know who's behind it. We know your yeah. is behind it, a lot of it. We know the law school itself is behind a lot of it. And we know how they structured that out and, and tried to play it out against us. Mm-hmm. And, and we know that the Woods Hole Oceanographic got 825 scientists and they got their own PR firms, both of these institutions yeah. in particular. And so the fight is in their court and so it's up to them. So they, they're just vicious, un, unimaginably vicious thugs. Who don't they, care? They who who don't care? Yeah. Who absolutely well, don't care? The dead of the ocean. Well, How can anybody not care? I don't get that. I can't imagine that. See, I can't visualize that. How can you not care? I can't get well, it. You know, How can you? I, 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 I mean, will no say that the one good thing about the election campaign in the Americas, in both parties, there's some real opposition for the first time. There's some real populist resistance. And hopefully this will carry over whoever wins the election, that some voices will now be finally heard instead of just the voices of industry, the, nuclear, the destructive industries. Mm-hmm. So let's just hope that. I think, you know, I think right now let's get ourselves organized. Let's go after these people. And then with, as you know, the Senate starts to change, Congress starts to change, let's try to find some voices there who are willing to stand up, you know. And I don't know if people like Sanders or not. I, you know, I, I'm not taking a position either way on him or Trump. But he did stand up against Indian Point, you know, the, the reactor in New York. So that's a beginning. You know, it's beginning. I hope Don Trump does the same. And we begin to build a momentum. You know, this is the time for us to do it, get our voices out there, too. Uh, the only problem, Indian Point is still working. Yeah, they haven't shut that's it down. That's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem, man. They're, they're courting disaster. And I wonder if these guys really want a disaster, maybe. You know, take New I don't the know. There's something about this species Some that is kids. defective, yeah. really yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I just wonder if there's a political reason to keep Indian Point going. You know, I mean, it's, it's no longer, it obviously is no longer economic. So what could be motivating keeping this, you know, burned out, nuclear plant going. What What is the point? Do they want to put a radioactive cloud over the head of every person in the park? I don't know. You know. Are they trying to take out New York State for some reason? I don't know. Because it doesn't make any sense from a standpoint of electrical power or economics. None whatsoever. So, well, if you, you, know, Yoshi, other, if you look at hmm? Yoshi, if you look at WIP, the waste repository mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. New Mexico, Nobody talks yeah. about that anymore either, Dana. That's out of the news now. Well, they had a, they had an accident, as we know, big, and big that one. was on on uh, allegedly it was on um, Valentine's Day, but it was actually seven days before that when a truck caught fire. They hadn't been back down ever since, and then a week later they said there was a radiation release. And mm-hmm. so, why would you abandon fifty five football field size uh, caverns for a truck fire? Mm-hmm. Get on the other side, put it out, and tow it out of there, and keep working. But is that how happened? big? Was that's how big WIP is. Fifty-five football fields. Wow. Fifty-five, fifty-five football field caverns down there. Each one mm-hmm. about three hundred foot by one hundred foot. And a, and a truck mm-hmm. fire. They evacuated all yeah, a week sure. later. They still hadn't mm-hmm. been back down there, and there was a radiation. It didn't go back down. See, so it was the truck fire was the radiation. At least they lied and allowed the plume to come through the community. <laughs> so they're undeserving of anybody's trust. They already proved their arrogance, their contempt for everybody by that one episode. But since then, they've got a billion dollars for this, a billion dollars for that, and another billion dollars for this, and a couple of billion dollars for that, and now they want a billion dollars for this, and a billion dollars for that. And they haven't even been back down in the mine doing any work. Or they haven't like been down there at all. Up. Yeah, they're dressing up and pretending, and they're going through charades, and they're saying, oh, we're going to get it this time. 
But the whole community is dependent upon that nuclear waste repository. They have become That's dependent right. upon it yeah. Yeah. Like, a, like a child to the mama's breast for milk. And they cannot survive without it. And they will wreck this planet rather than give up their that incredible money. And they just pour money into it. No matter what happens, what they've done, they just keep throwing money and pretending it never happened. Uh-huh. What do you give That's them all the money really for? That's a good point, yeah. Hush money, political hush money, right? You can squeeze it out of the government. And uh, keep having nuclear leash. Keep having nuclear access. Keep threatening people, and the politicians will pay for the hush money. Right? How, how much longer are we, uh, you know, the radiation is, is migrating uh, all across the country. Cancers yeah, are growing. Yeah. We're not hearing yeah, about it. Well, and the I don't... weather is going crazy everywhere. You know, I mean, you know, we can't take any more radiation in the environment. In uh-uh. the no, it's water. dosed. It's totally yeah, dosed. It has just gone crazy haywire all over the United North America. You know, it's uh, penetrating down to Mexico by now. It, it, this thing is really burgeoning. And maybe Dana's right. Maybe it's just to get the payoffs, to get the money, and they'll keep arranging the leaks. Okay? Maybe it's a form of terrorizing people. You know, this code of silence. Maybe it's a way. Again, okay? if we can get people to shut up about radiation, their kids dying about cancer, we can get them to shut up about anything. Think of that. Yeah, yeah, you just put your finger on it, no doubt. Yeah, I mean, well, this is what Dana's talking about. Yeah. You know, he's just, you know, have an accident, they'll give you the money. Keep having an accident, they keep giving you money. This is so dysfunctional. It's so suicidal. No, there's money in yeah. death. Money in death and exactly dying. The point. And in hushing up the death, too. There's even yeah. more money in hushing up. You know, those people didn't die of radiation. They're still there. The town, that town is still there. <laughs> we, don't know. we don't know, really. We don't know what's going on. Like you had a million people turn on to send an email or, or Twitter or Facebook, Yoshi. And so mm-hmm. when they write an article and say it's like a banana or potato chip, a million mm-hmm. Twitters, uh, a million tweets, a million Facebooks combined and emails saying shut up. Mm-hmm. That's all it takes, right? <laughs> shut up. Right. They'll go hide in the corner. Right. They'll go cry in the yeah. corner. Yeah. They'll hire all kinds of PR firms to try. Like they've done for that... Uh, Pepper or not pepper, yeah, pepper spray at the university where they spent one hundred and seventy-five dollars to flush the internet of what they done. Mm-hmm. One hundred seventy-five thousand dollars, and they gave the guy who done it thirty-eight thousand dollars for doing it. it but wow. that's what we need. That's the basic big thing that we got. If we had ten thousand, a thousand, or five hundred mm-hmm. people, even or a million, preferably, mm-hmm. sending an email saying that was a lie. It's not like a banana. Yeah. As simple as that. Start you small don't have to be... and get going. Yeah, I say start small and start building. You know, start getting going. We got to act. It's election season. You know, change. There's a lot of people who want change. A lot of people are angry. They're sick of being lied to. Above all. Yeah, but nobody's, none of these people except, I guess, Bernie's one statement about Indian Point. Nobody's talking no. about nuclear. Well, that's that's sort of the icebreaker, right? I mean, that's sort of like... The, well, you know, if he goes back to it, it will be, but if he leaves it to freeze Trump, over Donald again... Trump. Well, Donald Trump's got problems with all his managers and all that right now, so he's been sort right. of quiet. You got it. So well, let's hope he comes out guns blazing, you know, at the convention. Let, let's, let's just hope. He, hope he knows... Out. I, I really believe the man knows the score, but he has got to be careful. Like he went before APAC and gave that pro-Israeli uh, well, that talk, sort of like, which yeah. political, uh, he had, it was obligatory politics, and he had to do it. He let them hear what they, what they want to hear, and it's just the usual nonsense. I don't right. think he uh, takes it too seriously. I mean, you know, he says a lot of things, but I think he means something different, too. You know, he'll say a lot of stuff that has to be He said. talks in code. He, he, they think you're cu- Oh, no, he uses words that are obviously uh, keywords for other things. Sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, underlying the, what do you call it, underlying statement is this this crap has got to stop, right? I mean, this That's is, what he's really saying, if yeah, you listen. Yeah, and exactly. I, I've got to take a chance on a man and trust him. I don't know how this else to do it. Saying. Yeah, I mean, because the election is far from over, you know, the, the issue, the nuclear issue will be one probably addressed somewhere along the line. And the environmentalists are standing pretty naked right now. They're not looking good. <laughs> the environmental groups, they're not looking they're good. They're obscene. They, yeah, they just vanished. They're the ones who are supposed to carry this nuclear issue. They're gone. They haven't done crap. Nothing. They haven't done a thing. So it's time to expose these guys and, uh, you know, bring on the beginning of a new era. That's what I say. You know, it's... Da- yeah. You know, 
Dana, have you, have you seen any environmental group at all standing up about Fukushima? Re I, honest to God, if I ha I can't think of one. No, there's not. There's just a few little little ones, but none of the big boys. None of the big boys. Radchik, Christina Consolo, and they got a big following, and they're they're reaching out to these organizations all the time, and they're saying the same thing as you're seeing and we're seeing, is that the system is pushing nuclear, Cli like a climate scientist, for instance, which is part of many of these big organizations they went to university to get a degree in pacific uh -huh. to say it's not nuclear and that the solution is nuclear correct that environmental problems are not nuclear and the solution was nuclear because it's clean green <laughs> too cheap to meter oh, but they actually know it's like uh, it's yeah, not yeah. like a banana they understand that see they got that education and so climate scientists is another betrayal the whole yes. the whole thing couldn't agree betrayal. more could it not agree more it is a fraud it's just another money-making fraud and they have weight, though, right? They, they, they get traction. All right. Yoshi, I'll see you next week, partner. You okay, take good care. Good Yoshi. Good to be back. Sorry I was away for so long. No, you're good doing great day. things. Good All right. All right, Dana, you take care of yourself. And uh, you. I'm, I'm really sad to hear what you report about the forests and the trees and no birds, no bugs, and nothing. It's just it's so sickening. It just really is. So all of you folks out there, look around your neighborhood, your yards, and see what you see this spring. All right. Take care, Dana. If you're still there, if you're not, we'll talk to you yeah. next week. Yeah. Okay. Hugs, hugs for everybody. Take care, folks. Thanks. Okay. That's our uh, Fukushima radiation update for you. Earthquake update, too. Uh, we may have a quake on the West Coast any time now. A good size one. We'll see. And don't forget, there is no joke in the idea that you need to have food storage and don't forget our, our wonderful sponsors at rents.com. Take care. And we'll be back tomorrow night.